Hello and welcome to my channel Making IT Simple. In this video we are going to cover the concept of super key. What is a super key? What is the difference between super key and primary key? How to find super key from a relation? You must be having all these questions revolving in your head. In this video I will try to resolve all these questions and give proper explanation of the concept. In the previous video I have explained the concept of keys and primary key. If you haven't watched it yet, you can watch it by clicking the pop-up here. So without wasting any time let us start the video after a short intro. In the previous video we saw about primary key, now we will see what is a super key. Let us start with a definition, super key is an attribute or set of attributes that is used to uniquely identify all attributes in a relation or a table. Let us try to understand this with an example. There is a student table of a particular class. It has attributes like role number, name and age. And role number is a primary key, which is unique and not null. Now definition states attribute or set of attributes which can uniquely identify all attributes of a table. Now we know that using primary key we can identify unique tuples or rows. So we can write like this, using role number we can identify name and age of any student record or row. Therefore, role number can be super key. Because using it we can identify all other attributes, which means we can identify unique rows in table. Now is it done? Is there just one super key in a table? The answer is no, there can be multiple super keys in a relation or table. Now let us find other possible super keys in this example. Can name attribute be a super key? Answer is no, as name of two students can be same, using just the name we cannot uniquely identify other attributes. Using name can we get role number and age? Let us consider our example, we can see a redundant or repeating name. If I say I want role number and age of peak UR, it will not be able to differentiate between these two records. Therefore, name cannot be a super key. Can age be a super key? Answer is again no, same is the case with age as it was with name, there is redundancy in the column. Now as said in the definition, we can have set of attributes, so now let us consider role number and name together. As there is a primary key attribute in this set, which will be always unique and will never have null value, combining it with any other attribute you can identify other attributes. For example, role number 3, in this table there won't be any other student with role number 3. So using role number 3 we can identify name and age, as we saw before. Now when we are considering role number and name, it will also be unique, there will not be any record of having role number 3 and name MNO. So using role number and name, we can identify unique tuple and therefore, identify age. So role number and name, this subset is also a super key. Now if we consider age with role number similar will be the case, using role number and age we can identify name. So role number and age is also a super key. Now what about name and age, name and age, both the attributes have redundant values, there are students with same name and age. So by using name and age we cannot find role number. Due to redundancy, we will obtain different values. So name and age is not a super key. Now finally if we consider all attributes, role number, name and age. Using these can we identify rows uniquely? In this example, role number is primary key, so there will not be a condition like this, where there are two identical tuples. Therefore, this set of role number, name and age is a super key. These all are possible super keys in this relation. We saw the definition of super key, it is identical to the definition of primary key, so what are the differences between these two? Now from this example we can state some difference between a super key and primary key. From observing the set of possible super keys, we can see that a primary key, which is role number in this example can be a super key. So all primary keys are super keys. But can all these other super keys be a primary key? No, not all super keys are primary keys. One other difference we can tell is there can be multiple super keys, but there is just one primary key in a relation or table. So that's it for this video, 
Hope you understood the concept properly. We covered concept of super key which is one of the type of keys. In upcoming videos, we will cover other types of keys. If you feel this video helped in clearing your concept, like the video and share it with your classmates or friends or someone who needs help in these concepts. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon so that you will get notified when I drop a new video. Thank you.